This time we're tying the articulated leech, uh, a fly we in Sweden call masken. It's a great fly for the rainbow trouts. I start by getting the back hook in the vise. For this I like to use a wide gape hook with a short shank. I'm using the Jason Grub in a size 8. Then I take some fluorescent orange marabou and tie it in right behind the hook guy. The fiber length should be a little bit longer than the hook. When you have it tied down you finish it off with a couple of whip finishes. Now you can place the back hook to the side for later use. Now get the front hook in device. For this I'm using a streamer type hook with a tungsten bead in front. I tie in the tie thread and cover the hook shank till I'm right with the hook eye. Now get your favorite braided fishing line and uh, get 40 centimeters out of it. Make a big loop. Tie it in so that the tag ends are facing forward and sticking out about 5 centimeters in front. Now tie it down securely and with tight wraps uh, and then fold the tag ends over so they're facing backwards. Secure them tightly again and fold them back and I do this about three times to make sure it's really secured. And then to finish it off I take some super glue. Now we have a big dubbing loop of braided line. This would be the middle section of the flyer. So open up the dubbing loop and get a big bunch of the fluorescent yellow marabou fibers in the loop. The width we have covered, uh, covered with the dubbing is going to decide the length of the middle section of the flyer. So I get them in and I trim back parts of the fibers to decide which length I want in front and get the fibers aligned at the dubbing loop. So I just trim it and then I start spinning. Spin the dubbing twister and to check if the fibers are stuck you just pull the part that is closest to the hook and if the fibers snap then you know they're stuck. And then we get out a hackle plier, which we place directly after where we put the marabou to keep the dubbing loop closed. And then we spin the dubbing twister in the opposite direction to open up the loop again. Now get the back fly that we tied previously and place the braided line through the hook guy and slide it up to where the hackle plier is sitting. a new bunch of marabou fibers inside the loop, trim the back ends so that you have this approximately the same length of the fibers and also the same width covered of the dubbing loop. And then start spinning the dubbing twister in the same direction as you did the first time with the first loop. When you have it spun a bit, you can remove the hackle plier so the entire thing starts twisting and uh, make sure the fibers are secured. When the uh, dubbing loop is tight and all the fibers are secured, we can fold the loop over by the back hook. The middle section will now start spinning together. Tie down the braided line on the front hook and secure it as we did previously when we tied in the braided line.
make sure it stays in place, we get some uh, sap again. Super glue it. Fly tire's best friend. Now you can make a dubbing loop. Make sure to close the dubbing loop by wrapping the thread two times around it and move ahead to the bead. Get a bunch of the fluorescent white marabou inside the dubbing loop. Trim the back ends of the fibers and align them to the dubbing loop and then start spinning the dubbing twister so that the fibers would get nicely secured. You can always check by pulling the fibers and see if they snap. I always like to brush the fibers out so that they aren't tangled together. Now I start covering the hook shank with the Meribah fibers going forward and pulling the fibers backwards. When you are at the bead you can stop and tie it down. Now that it's uh, all tied down, you can just tie in everything and whip finish the fly, and it's all done. Well, I like to pull out some of the fibers with the dubbing needle to finish off the fly and uh, whip finish it. Then it's all done, and ready to fish with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you did, and thanks for watching.